Alright, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the seat belt on your Toyota Mini Truck. So, if your truck's anything like mine, your seat belt retractor is probably broken, jammed, or it doesn't retract. You can see this one's just straight up jammed. Previous owner he did something sketchy, put a bolt in. Probably not the safest thing. So, what I'm going to be doing is replacing with the universal seat belt I got on eBay. Comes with the retractor, the buckle, comes with this. And on this car, it's actually pretty straightforward. So, the first thing we're gonna do that cover over here that has to come off with a little screwdriver so we can get to the bolt behind it. And on the bottom, right here, you have a bolt we have to undo. And we'll go from there. The screwdriver kind of just pry it in there. And then pop this off. You can lift it up. And here you have your bolt, and that is a 14 millimeter. So you take your ratchet and your socket and you take that off. So it comes off pretty easy. Just remember the orientation. You have the piece of the seat belt before the washer, kind of getting sandwiched in between this and the head of the bolt. So next. We have that bolt right there, which is also 14 millimeter, and that's right on the floor. Okay, now you have the retractor. Usually, you have this cover on it, something like this. Take that off. You can take it off with your hands, and if you look right there, that's the bolt that holds it in, and then it's kind of clipped in to that. So you take that bolt out, you can swing it out. That's also 14 millimeter. Here, take the bolt out. The whole retractor comes off. And there you have your old seat belt assembly, which in my case, and probably yours, is junk. Now, all that's left is you have to take out the buckle right here. So the way that attaches, you're going to move the seat forward and you tilt it forward with this right over there. You have that last bolt and you can take the buckle out. All right, with that bolt out, this should just pull right up. There you have your little connector for the seat belt to make sure it's plugged in. All right, after it's unbolted and the seat belt plug is disconnected, just Pull it right up. There you have the seat belt plug. And that's all there is to removing it. Now, install is the reverse of the install. So, how I would start is first I would take this, the buckle, feed it down in there, and bolt it in. So once you got it lined up how you like, put your 14 on it. Tighten it down pretty snug. You don't want this coming off, but make sure you don't strip it. So now, you got your buckle right there. And it's time to put the retractor in. Same concept as taking it off. So the kit that I got actually came with new hardware. So you got to make sure that the threads are good. They seem to be good. So... First thing I'm going to do, take the retractor, line it up how it should be, just like that. I'm going to get the bolt and I'm going to bolt it in. So the next thing I did, I put the upper part of the buckle and I lightly threaded it into the hole. The retractor is also still loose, just so I get everything lined up and then I'll tighten it all at the end. So now, with that there. The last part, which is this piece, goes right down to the floor over there. And you just put the bolt in. Okay, so with that piece threaded in, I like to buckle the seat belt, make sure everything is good. Retractor works great. And now that I know everything's properly oriented, you can tighten it up. And you make it snug. You can use your ratchet, you can use your impact gun, 
just don't strip them again because then you will have a bad day and with everything bolted down that should be all there is to it take your seat belt buckle up that's good that's good release it retract and just like that you have a working seat belt in your Toyota mini truck if you like what you saw stay tuned for more leave a like leave a comment any suggestions let me know thanks for watching guys see you in the next one